And still on the BBR report, I'm now joined by Tom Ojanga, who is a political strategist and also a political analyst. And uh, Karibu. Thank you very much. And uh, because of the interest of time, uh, straight to the discussion, we have seen the, uh, some legislators in Naivasha and uh, conspicuously absent uh, were legislators allied to the DP. What do you make of it? Well, I've, uh, I, I can't comment on that because I don't know the circumstances that led to that. But uh, nevertheless, what I need to say is the BBI is a very, very good document for this country. <laughs> is a very good initiative for this country. The product of the BBI, the document, is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and as you know, of course, it seeks to unite the country and also to provide a stable environment for development and growth going forward. So seen from that perspective, it's a very good thing and must be supported. However, mm -hmm. uh, I think that you cannot seek to unite the country let me, let me put it this way. BBI has got three parts. Number one is the initiative, which is a project. Mm -hmm. Then the product of the project, which is the report. Mm -hmm. And then there's the implementation part. Yes. So the Building Bridges Initiative is not contested mm -hmm. because everybody seeks unity in this country. Everybody supports the idea that we should be unified as a country and we should have a stable environment that would enable capital to grow, wealth to be created, all right? Mm -hmm. The report has got several recommendations. Of course, we are a nation of many people. <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not expected that everybody will agree with every section or every segment of the report. But most importantly, we cannot use a binary process <laughs> which is divisive to accomplish the goals of an initiative that seeks unity. Indeed. And talking about um, we cannot be divided, a delicate balancing act, some people talking about we need uh, some of these things factored in. Um, um, women legislators have raised issues, people living with disabilities have raised issues, even the senators have raised issues. Do you have the time to uh, go back to the drawing board and factor in all the comments or even all the recommendations some people are suggesting in the report? There are two things. I mean, first and foremost, we need to have uh, what we have implemented, right? Yes. And in, in, in a situation like this, there will always be additions that are needed, and those can come later. But most importantly, we need to figure out how to implement, in a way that is not dividing the country, what we have today, mm -hmm. which was uh, launched and endorsed uh, on the 26th. So I think this is, this is critical. We need to make steps that would lead us to have that guaranteed or that unity that we seek to have, <laughs> right? Yes. The rest can then come on top. But there are many ways to achieve that. You could have a binary matrix in which citizens are allowed to digitally uh, score <laughs> the different <laughs> sections. <laughs> and that would result into a very non-contentious, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, BB high uh, end game. <laughs> and um, how possible is it as Everybody, some people are talking about, no, that window was already closed. You guys never raised your concern in good time. Is it really possible? Do we have that time? Remember, we also have uh, the 2022 uh, general elections that have less than two years. One of the problems we've had in this country is that every five years, we have a cycle of instability. Yes. And as you know, it capital fears instability, and therefore we actually stagnate our growth through that. Mm -hmm. So it's important that the BBI is implemented before elections so that we do not get into the next election in, 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 with a very poisoned environment. So I think everybody, the political establishment in this country, must be willing to give and take. <laughs> you know, yes. You know, at the end of it all, we all seek that unity. We need that stability. And therefore, we need to move forward towards that. Mm -hmm. And. Um, the, looking at um, the, the, the BBI uh, report, and uh, of course, uh, uh, Haji team has uh, almost completed their work, and there are other people who will be tasked uh, to pick it from there. What will be the mandate of those people who will now steer uh, the process from where we are right now? Because all what we have now mm. is the document. Yes, I think the mandate should be that they have the BBI report implemented in a way that does not divide the country. Mm -hmm. That should be paramount mm -hmm. because if we have a divisive implementation process, then we negate the initial idea 
an objective of the BBI, <laughs> which is to unite the country. So we could not unite the country by having a divisive process. You know, that would get us. So I think the, 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 the core mandate should be to have uh, the implementation of the BBI report in such a way that the country does not end up divided. Mm -hmm. I think that's really key. Yeah. Yes. And um, th th there are calls that uh, people should read. Uh, actually, the clarion call be by the president and the former premier is that uh, get the document and read it. Some people have raised concern about the civic education. Others have raised concern about um, that the document should be translated to local dialect so that all the one inches can actually understand the contents of the document. We have even had that time. There, there should be. I mean, everybody supports the Building Bridges Initiative. Not everybody is in support of the entire content. I mean, the sections that people support, other sections of the entire content of the report. Mm -hmm. But political leaders mm -hmm. must take it upon themselves to sensitize the people they, they represent so that we move forward as a country that is uni united. You understand what I mean? So yes. it has to... It, 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 it must involve political leadership. Mm -hmm. It must involve the various organs that have been created to see that this happens, mm -hmm. so that the, 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 the people on the ground also get to have an understanding of this. Mm -hmm. Yes. And indeed, uh, when we, we, let's get the figures. The IBC talking about we're going to spend 14 billion, uh, and uh, the, the former premier talking about no, 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 it's about two billion. The cost actually. The, 14 and 2 billion uh, seem to be two very big disparities. Yeah, but you, can only, the cost of you can only talk about the cost of implementation if you know the method of implementation. Mm -hmm. You know, because so they're, they're on, putting on, the, on, the, what the basis of the uh, yeah, yeah, on what basis have you done the calculation, the cost estimation? Mm -hmm. You understand? So that is, that's actually, that's, that's talk which is very irrelevant at this moment in time. First and foremost, we must all agree on how we are going to implement the report of the Building Bridges Initiative mm -hmm. and how we are going to seek that unity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very important. And then we can talk about the methods and how much that costs. But I think it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's not the right time to start talking about costs because it's, uh, you know, when it's scary. People, everybody wants <laughs> unity. Yes. yes. Uh, and we have seen political leaders and party leaders, uh, the likes of uh, Moses uh, Masika Wetangula, we've, we've seen uh, uh, Mudavadi, we've seen Ngilu, all party leaders actually drumming up support for the BBI. Is it a big boost, and especially uh, coming from leaders who have their own political parties and interests as well? Yes, yes. I mean, they, they, should, they, should, they should do that. That's what is expected of them. As a matter of fact, every Kenyan should support the initiative mm -hmm. because the initiative seeks to unite the country. Just on that basis, every Kenyan should support the initiative. Mm -hmm. You know, without unity, without stability, we can't have economic growth. Mm -hmm. And we can't have a better society for ourselves. So we need to... The BBC, BBI should lay the foundation for unity and stability going forward. Mm -hmm. From that angle, we should all accept and support the BBI. Mm -hmm. The most contentious issue is, however, the implementation. Mm -hmm. If you go through a referendum that is contested, then you negate the purpose of the BBI. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, um, we've seen uh, a delicate balancing act, um, some hard-line stance, and uh, both, both sides are talking about we need to come together uh, at a common ground. Let's meet at, the, at a common ground. Is it really possible you're hearing that if you're not going to do this, we are not going to do this? We are not going to pass. You've heard uh, some of the, uh, the, the, the stories that we have run. Yeah. How can we actually actualize a common ground? I think politi political rhetoric should be toned down because we all need this unity, mm -hmm. we all need this stability. It's important for, I mean, you, you know it, capital does not thrive where there is instability. You mm -hmm. need capital mm -hmm. to be able to create wealth mm -hmm. for this country. You need to protect what we already have, mm -hmm. and we need to give room for the creation of more capital uh -huh. and growth, right? Uh -huh. And that is not possible without unity <laughs> yeah. and without stability. Uh -huh. And that's what the BBI seeks. Mm -hmm. So we should move away from 
from political contest to this. You know, there's no political contest in the BBI because the country needs unity and stability. There shouldn't be any political contest in that. Mm -hmm. However, the new team must then move forward to accommodate everybody mm -hmm. so that we get to have a document that unites us before we go for elections in 2022. Indeed. And uh, what would be the role of the House leadership? Of course, we've seen um, a couple of months ago there were changes in the House uh, leadership, and, um, and especially in steering, because this document will still end up in Parliament. And we've seen uh, Amos Kimunya, of course, talking about, yes, we need to uh, be passing, and of, of course his uh, counterpart at the Senate talking about the same. We should stop suspicion. <laughs> First, mm -hmm. we must have the goodwill mm -hmm. to uh, trust our lead leaders to do the right thing mm -hmm. for the country. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have the tendency of creating suspicions where there should be none. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? Uh, but the leadership of, 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 of parliament have been chosen by the various political formations mm -hmm. to do what they have to do. And I think from what I saw on the 26th, that every political formation agrees that the BBI is an important thing for this country, and it's an important initiative, an important document. The report that it produced is an important document for this country. So from there, let's pick it from there and push it forward and get this country moving forward. Are we likely to see a political, perhaps, amalgamation or political alignment um, in line with the 2022 um, uh, election which is less than two years ago and especially when it comes to the BBI report? I think if we implement the report and if we create unity, there will be a lot of opportunity for political formations to form coalitions and to merge maybe because then th those things that, uh, that divide us shall have, shall have been eliminated so that we then focus on, on, on uh, on political ideology, political programs, mm -hmm. as opposed to those little things that have divided this country mm -hmm. for the longest time possible, like tribalism, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and those other things. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, do you think, as we wind up, do you think that we can have uh, that non-contested uh, referendum? Because uh, earlier on, we had talked about a non-contested um, uh, referendum, and you said very well, if we don't have a non, we we have a contested referendum, it, the beats, it, it beats the, it beats, the yeah, logic yeah. of the building absolutely, bridges. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. I think it's possible to have a non-contested referendum. Mm -hmm. There are also many other ways to reach consensus without necessarily having these uh, acrimonious discussions that we experience day, day in, day out. So I think the political leadership must take it upon themselves to move towards uh, a, 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 you know, conversation that unites the country as opposed to, uh, you know, rhetoric that divides the country. Indeed. And uh, unfortunately, we are out of time, but thank you so much thank you for joining us and thank for you. your insight, Tom. We have been uh, talking to Tom Ojanga, who is a political strategist and also a political analyst, just uh, trying to shed light on some of the things that have transpired since the document was released uh, or was launched on Monday last week to today with the politics going on and on. And of course, talking about politics, we also have the COVID issue uh, that is uh, uh, all over the county with today uh, actually crossing the 1,000 mark. Thank you so much uh, for watching.